Hello, this is Darren Nighthawk, and welcome back to my uh, playthrough of another challenge that I put together. Uh, hope you've enjoyed what you guys have seen so far, and I've got plenty more to come. Uh, we recently did a little bit of an update on the uh, the monster Feed the Beast mod pack that we we're using. I've upgraded one from 1.0.7 or 5 rather uh, to 1.0.7. Hopefully that'll resolve some of the uh, the bugs that we've run into uh, and keep things nice and stable for us. Uh, still in beta, uh, stable is still uh, off in the distance, waiting for us uh, a long ways away. Uh, hopefully that'll come sooner rather than later. Well, uh, I have a lot in store for us today, so uh, why don't we go ahead and get started. Um, I did a little bit uh, off camera. Oops, I don't need that to be in cheat mode. Sorry about that. I wasn't cheating, I swear. Um, I took the liberty of putting some torches around out here, hopefully to kind of limit some spawn uh, every now and again. Uh, if we could fortify this area in the long run, that would be great. Uh, that would make this place a lot safer, and then maybe eventually I could start mining some of these ores. Um, right now, if I were to mine uh, this stuff here, get the nether coal and whatnot, um, these pigmen would not be happy with me, and I would probably die. Um, that'd be bad. Um, so I'd like to continue this episode a little bit with uh, lighting this platform a bit more. Uh, make it a little bit safer up here. Um, something else I'd like to do as a result of our uh, our adventure in the last couple of episodes, um, I'd like to actually try and uh, build a mushroom farm with uh, these mushrooms and these mushrooms that we picked up. Um, so that way I can have a uh, renewable food source. For food source. Um, did a little bit of research into a few of the things that I found last time, such as the uh, blight berries and the blight berry bush. Uh, these are added by the Natura mod pack. Uh, there are a number of other bushes and, and foods that spawn in the nether now, and they all basically suck. Um, we can eat blight berries. Um, however, uh, they have some negative status ailments to them, um, and pretty much every other uh, nether food that Natura adds uh, does the same thing. So in a pinch, you can eat them, uh, but we'll need to make sure we're in a safe place so that the uh, negative status ailments don't screw us over. Um, yeah, so why don't we go ahead and get started with the uh, the mushroom farm. I'm, I think I know how to set this up right. Um, but I'll probably screw it up anyway, so there'll be some tweaking. Um, hunger's already starting to go down a little bit, so the sooner we can get this set up, the, uh, the better off we'll be. That was a good start, breaking the old pickaxe, just finish it off. Uh, so one of the rules for uh, setting up a mushroom, mushroom farm is it has to be uh, pretty much no lighting for it. So uh, one thing I want to do uh, is actually... Uh, dig down a level uh, a little bit and build a mushroom farm down there. So I'm just kind of digging this out over here and now, oh cool, got some ores here. I'm actually going to go ahead and dig down now. Uh, go down a bit so we can have a uh, safe, somewhat secluded place for the, uh, for the mushroom farm to be. Uh, there's a couple of options for how we can set up the mushroom farm. The, uh, the standard way of doing it would be just to plonk down a couple of mushrooms and let them spread. And over time, uh, we should get some more mushrooms. Hopefully, uh, they'll spread fast enough so that we could actually, uh, you know, not run out uh, on a regular basis and be able to eat them. Uh, the other option, which is uh, significantly better uh, if we can get it set up, would be to actually uh, use bone meal to grow uh, the large large mushroom trees. Um, obviously the difficulty with that uh, is you need bone meal for it, uh, which I don't have any of right now. Uh, so it's something I'll be keeping an eye out for, see if maybe find some skeletons to, uh, to, to ransack for their bones. I haven't looked around too much uh, for another option that we have, uh, which they're basically bone trees that you can find in the nether, and you can harvest them for tons of bone meal. I think they're in this mod pack, um, and if we could find those, that'd be awesome. Um, that would really solve 
all of our bone meal issues forever and for all of eternity. Uh, but we have to find one of those. I didn't spot any on those uh, those runs that we made out for the mushrooms, so that's not a terribly good sign. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll. All right, so my pickaxe broke, and um, go ahead and run back to our uh, our tinker table here and uh, repair it real quick. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to be able to uh, do this. So easy to fix your tools with the, uh, the tinkers, tinkers tools. Um, and since it's made out of netherrack, and we've got an absolute crap load of netherrack, that won't be an issue uh, having stuff to repair it. Uh, even though I'm inside, I'm still going to kind of wait to uh, harvest this nether ore for right now. I don't think it should anger the pig pigmen, um, but I'm not 100% sure that it won't. Um, I'd rather not risk it for right now. We don't need the nether iron ore for anything right this instant. We will eventually, uh, but not right now. So, we'll go ahead and wait on that. Just to play it safe. Alright, once we get this wall out just a little bit more, I think this should be a decent area to at least start building our, our mushroom farm. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plonk one of these guys down. Uh, we'll put it in the back corner. And then uh, one of the white mushrooms back over here. And uh, because this area is going to be uh, fairly dark, I want, I'm going to want to put a door here. Which means I'm going to do that. And then uh, go grab the door. Uh, and then we should pretty much have our, uh, our another mushroom farm set up. Uh, if I did anything wrong, please let me know. Give me some suggestions. Hopefully this should work for now. We can come back later and uh, check on it. Um, I'm not sure if the light level is actually right for it, because the nether does have uh, basic light levels to it. Um, so we might actually need to do something uh, to make that a little bit better. Uh, not sure. We'll find out. I'll check on it later, and, and we'll see what happens. Um, Alright, so uh, next thing I want to do, other than putting a torch up here somewhere, I should be far enough, yep, um, I actually want to light up the platform some more. It sounds absolutely terrifying out there. Um, thankfully, I've got a crap load of coal now. So, go ahead and make these into torches. Uh, let's do some more. All right, cool. Fifty-nine torches should be plenty. So let's go ahead and hop on out here. Oh god, what's hitting me? Oh, holy Jesus! Okay, um, rain check on that plan. That's a heat scar spider right outside the door. <sighs> Was not expecting that whatsoever. Um, obviously we need more lighting out there, but we won't be doing that right now. Uh, I think I'm going to make some mushroom stew and uh, get some of my health back. Uh, let's see. I think a bowl is some, something like that. There we go. Got some bowls. And then take a bowl. Bowl is it? Is this how you make it? There we go. Mushroom stew. First bowl of mushroom stew. There we go. Cool. To put those all away. Um, <clears throat> so since we're gonna, gosh, since we're gonna wait for him to go away, I'm actually gonna skip ahead to uh, one of the other things I wanted to accomplish for today. Uh, when we went out and about, uh, you may have noticed that we we're basically building in like a pillar here. Um, there's there's four sides to it, um, and something I'd actually like to do is uh, add multiple entrance ways so that when we get stuck like this and there's a heat scar spider outside this door, we can go out the back door or, or vice versa, or a side door on, on either direction. Um, so it gives us some more options. In fact, uh, there we go. Here's the back door area. So, go ahead and make a door here. In fact, I'll go ahead and make a few doors. Ideally, I want to have uh, four doors total. Uh, four entranceways to our base of operations. Um, 
So in worst case scenario, prepared, safe, we're good. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna go do another one this way. See how far this goes. Okay. Oh, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. Uh, I expect to actually have to dig a lot more. Okay. Now let's do one the other direction. Maybe it's this direction that's really the uh, the deep one. That pigment out there. It's a mimichite ore. Alright, last doorway. There we go. Cool. So now we've got lots of options, um, lots of ways to get in and out of our base uh, safely, uh, just in case stuff gets crazy around here. Alright, so now that we actually have another way out, let me go ahead and uh, sneak out this back door here. Just hopefully safe. So we can do the torches that I was talking about before and trying to do. Okay, so here's our, our pillar here. Uh, a neat little trick uh, to help make sure that uh, you cover all the potential spawn areas uh, is actually to hit F7, and it'll pull up this grid on the ground. So right now, this area I'm standing in right here, because of the fire that's here, it's actually uh, a light level high enough so that monsters will not spawn. Uh, these red X's over here, definite spawn areas. So we need to make sure there are no red X's around our base. Um, I'm going to put some up here because this, this little cliff area is a potential hazard. Let's go ahead and uh, sneak around over here. Fire and lava help out. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Uh, make it a little bit easier for us because they uh, they produce light also and bring up the light level. Hi, baby zombie big man. I'm glad you're not angry. Um, just, just giving you guys some light. Um, so we're just going to go around, walk down a bunch of these torches, try and reduce any possible spawn areas um, to secure our base. So just kind of work our way around here. You can see we're getting some all the way, all the way down there. The radius for this view is actually um, fairly high. Uh, all things considered. So, we'll just, just keep doing this. At some point I'd like to build some walls around this, maybe add another brick or something, whatever material I could find for it. Um, and there's obviously there's a lot of ores around this platform. Uh, eventually, I hope to safely harvest, given, given enough time. Um, already this place is looking a lot safer. Um, Hopefully those, those pigmen, everything will despawn at some point and will take care of any mobs that are wandering their way over. Um, to create a nice, safe base. I wonder if that heat scar spider is still over there. Alright, so there's one spot over here. i got to be careful because I'm getting close to the edge now. Last thing I want to have happen is uh, get knocked off the cliff. Uh, I'd, be, uh, I'd probably die from the fall damage, honestly. Oh, there's a baby heat scar spider over there. I wonder, wonder what happened to daddy. I go around uh, back the way we came out uh, and hit that side. Just keep our distance from that spider. There's some, some red up there. Just play it safe. There's no sense taking any unnecessary risks. If I can avoid dying completely, um, that would be awesome. Uh, now, in one of the first episodes, or actually I think it was the very first episode of this, when I originally came to the nether, uh, I attempted to uh, use a command to set my spawn point to the nether. Uh, and looking that up and testing that afterwards, that doesn't actually work. Um, it takes a specific mod to... Uh, or it, it takes a mod to... Uh, set a spawn point in the nether. I don't currently have that set up um, out of torches, so I have to go make some more because I didn't bring a charcoal with me. Um, we currently don't have that set up, so it's not an option. And uh, when I tested it, it just 
put me back in the uh, back in the overworld. So if I die at any point, um, I'll have to come back through the portal. And uh, fortunately, the portal's not far from home, so we won't have to go too far. But even so, I'd rather not have to do that. Oops. There we go. That should be plenty of torches. Finish up our little project here. Oops, there's a gas. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'd like to build some walls. Even though uh, we're limiting the mobs that can spawn on this platform, um, ghasts will still spawn off in the distance, um, and then they see you, they'll shoot fire fireballs at you. Uh, none of which we want have have happening while we're trying to safely harvest some, some minerals and, and what have you. Um, this platform is a lot bigger than I realized it was. It kind of keeps, keeps going. I think I'm going to stop here for this part, work our way back around, for, for at least a good part. Oop! And see, there we go. There's a, there's a gas saw me. So we need to move, move along. Uh, here's one of our new special entrances here that, that I just made. So if I needed to, I could duck right back in and I'd be safe and sound inside. Uh, that, almost got it all. In there. Oh, oh, that's redstone. I thought that was an X. Uh, one over here. Alright, this looks pretty good now. Um, yeah, I, I think we're actually, actually pretty good. Um, wow, that my hunger went up a bunch in doing that. So, um, what platform we got that taken care of? Entrances to base taken care of. Where's that door? There it is. Put the torch there. Just so I know where it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and poke my head downstairs, see how the mushroom farm's doing. Doubt it's done anything yet. Yeah, we got nothing. Um, I don't really want monsters to spawn here, but I also don't want to affect the light level downstairs. I'm trying to go a little bit closer. Here. Uh, one more. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. It seems safe enough. 